This is your boy Fat Man. I just lost a couple frames per second. And I'm losing frames each time I talk. <laughs> so I don't know where to begin with this. And I wish I did. But at the same time, at this point, I guess we should be throwing blame around. Now, this is the Not Holding Back series. We are, once we reach this light point, there is time to not hold back on anything. The Dave Chappelle video was coming up after this video, or maybe Friday. Friday would be the good day to drop the Dave Chappelle video. But right now, we're talking about Travis Scott and the shit that's happened at the Astro World concert and everything. Over my face, as I talk, there will be a lot of footage showing. Uh, go to the YouTubers that I have linked in the description if you want to watch the rest of everything that they've talked about. But let's be honest, there is blame to throw around. Now, now, now. Am I directly blaming Travis Scott? For what happened at this concert, fuck no. He has stopped the concert two or three times to get people help that he's been able to visually see. Visually. And there is a video of him also wondering what's happening with the police truck or ambulance truck. And then just kind of going on with the show. At the end of the day, this is the bad part about this type of artist. Yes, a lot of other artists were able to stop shows and pause the show to help out their fans. Travis Scott has done this before. He's also gotten, she's also jumped in a mosh pit, gotten pissed at someone steal his shoes, gotten fans to fuck that person up, which you can't get sued from. Uh, that was probably a suing moment, regardless of the person was trying to steal your shoes. They didn't necessarily attack you. So, but that also is a suing moment. I, I realize that. He, ha he asked fans to strike somebody. They could sue the fuck out of him. That's a prior moment that was recorded. And people rooted it on. But it was also a suing moment. It's, 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 it's The fan threw something at him first legitimate. But neither here or there. That did happen. That he spit on the fan. Recent concert. He stopped and seen someone needed help. And got that person help at this concert. Now, a giant L is given to Live Nation. A lot of Live Nation's events have kind of ended up in people going to hospitals, dangerous situations, and there's footage of fans kind of bum-rushing this fucking event and bum-rushing the table with merch. Now, this I can understand. Travis Scott is a fucking phenomenon. He is a brand, and also he's just that type of motherfucker you have to get shit from. Grabbing merch at his table is not just merch to wear, but also merch to sell and make money off of. It's just what it is. I have a hoodie. I got the skateboard. I have his his little uh, action figure from the Fortnite event, uh, tag team, team up, collab, whatever you call it. I have the PlayStation board. I have the Astro World hoodie, okay? I have three fucking things of him that I wanted. A hoodie a board, and a fucking action figure. Now you're probably saying, so why do you have this? Because I'm a fake hype beast. Also, go su go subscribe to Fake Hype Beast, which is coming out, or Fake Hype. But for the most part, I wanted these things. I'm not a real hype beast. I just said, I don't have shit of Travis Scott. This seems easy for me to grab right now. The skate deck was very something I needed because of the PlayStation collaboration. If he wasn't working with PlayStation, I would never grab the state skate deck unless it was fucking awesome. Regardless of that, I'm a fake hype beast. I'm not a fan. I've listened to a couple of his songs and that's kind of it. I haven't listened to his whole albums. If I did, I'd probably be more of my critical self than I am with music. I have friends that make music. I know niggas that make music. I also make music. So I'm very critical. I suck at making uh certain beats that I feel aren't the next level what I want to make, but that's near here or there. This concert was controlled by Live Nation. Security was lacking. They also had security on horses, which was crazy. But at the same time, there was not enough security for this shit. And then the concert was sold out. And then other people came to the concert and got in because they fucking broke down the gate barriers. You telling me this entire event did not you didn't realize the level and the magnitude of Travis Scott in Houston, Texas. And you know people flew out to Houston, Texas for this concert. People drove to Houston, Texas for this concert. It's Travis Scott. Travis Scott collabed with fucking McDonald's, PlayStation. He's tr he's worked with like Nike, 
Okay, he's made sneakers. This is someone you are gonna expect to have the biggest appearance when he even collabed with Fortnite. A nine, a, a ten-year-old kid got hurt and got put into a concussion, and I think is in a coma. A fourteen-year-old kid died at this concert. The one thing we should not be seeing is deaths. Yes. If you want to be the person right now to say, but he also said on Instagram he finessed it for his fans. I get it. That is something stupid to say because maybe in his mind, as the artist, as the promoter, and I don't know if this, if he's been touring around the world since the pandemic has been happening. I kind of don't know how artists have been doing this since the pandemic. How have you been able to eat? How have you been able to make money? You know what I'm saying? A lot of artists' bread have been stopped because of the pandemic. That was 2020. This is 2021. So what's what's kind of happened, right? How are you still making bread? Maybe he wanted to perform to a live or a huge audience. That's fine. But these people didn't even buy their tickets. There was people in there illegally. Then there's rumors that security card got injected with something and then he was pulled out and given Narcan. Narcan is basically a drug that if you sniff it, it will bring you back from the brink. For the most part, very dangerous that there was someone in there with syringes and maybe knocking people out cold. By the time we wait to find out what happens more at the concert, I don't want to bet money on this. But it's very dangerous to imagine if someone was able to syringe a, a guard without anybody else around in a huge crowd of people without no one else realizing anything that's dangerous. That might be a rumor. I don't want to say anything that might scare people. But one thing I do feel like if the concert was this big and there was a lot of uncontrollable fans, people fighting to get merch, people about to bust someone's lip, jumping over gates... These fans were wallet, and there were younger fans as well, because also, also he had a collaboration with Fortnite. My one prediction is someone may have got sexually assaulted in one of these. I've been thinking if this was this big, that could have happened. And God forbid, when concerts are moving, you have to move with them. You can't move against them. It's like fighting the stream. Don't fight the stream. Go with the stream. But the moment you start fighting it, the moment they start dragging your ass, and then it gets worse from there. Especially when they start moshing. And when they start moshing, I've seen other clips of, like, you know, Linkin Park. Hey, stop the music. Yo, right there, pick him up. Pick him up. And they say, if we fall, you pick up. That's, that's That's been the culture of mosh pits. Travis Scott is heavily inspired by rock and roll. He's inspired by Marilyn Manson. He's inspired by, like, music. So we already know that he's going to be inspired by that. That's why Astroworld was created. That's why he has all this weird, creepy, uh, psychedelic imagery. He's very much about like rock and roll more than rock and roll. It's about rock and roll. And black people, we made rock and roll. So we already know where it's at. You know, hardcore, heavy metal, raw, like, you know. But at the end of it, this entire concert, the entire situation has gotten blown out of proportion. So what am I about to do? I'm going to point blame. And it's going to be at a lot of areas. But mostly, I have four or three. Number one, Live Nation. This was a whole fucking shit show. Now, I don't know what Live Nation's problem was. I don't know if, they, if they're if they running out of, like, maybe the people. They have billions of dollars. They do already do a lot of events. So the bad part is, this event was already orchestrated and displayed and fucked up. Just because, maybe, I don't want to say this vaccination requirements from people. That's why they were low on staff. That's kind of been the shit happening. And this was also taking place in Texas. Texas is hella fucking crazy and full of extra weirdos like Florida. So I don't want to just imagine motherfuckers being like, I'm not going to get vaccinated to go to this gig. Because, you know, a security company probably has to have fully vaccinated members if they're going to be securing something or working with someone. I believe maybe that was probably the cause. Low security uh, at the entrance. That means not enough security there. That means not enough people want the job. That means also vaccinations and mandate restrictions. 50-50, that could have came and happened. Who knows? Maybe. But also, Live Nation has... They have had other events that have had good security. Maybe this time they were thinking it was lax. Uh, never be lax on security when it comes to famous, famous people coming back to their hometowns. 
Second, I want to blame the fans. Uh, motherfuckers is wilding the fuck out. Uh, they act like wild fucking animals. This is crazy. Now, some are younger than others. Some are probably older than others. Some are in their mid-20s, the end of their 20s. Some are, I don't want to say some are in their teens. Some probably are at like 18, 19, 16, no, 17. It was the highest age of 20s. I believe a lot of his fans are in their 20s. And, and they're leaving their 20s. You know what I'm saying? So... Motherfuckers was acting like animals. They, yo, bro, they hit the merch table like there was no fucking, they hit that merch table like there was nothing. That merch was going to be gone. People were going to, people were buying to keep and buying to sell. That's kind of what Travis Scott is. He's a money maker for a lot of uh, resellers. So, just is what it is. And I believe some resellers were there and niggas is bugging if resellers were there. And third... I gotta blame Travis Scott. I do. His online presence after his apology, which you'll see right now. I wanna send out prayers to the, to the ones that was lost last night. We're actually working right now to identify the families so we can help assist them through this tough time. You know, my fans, my fans like, my fans really mean the world to me and I always just really want to leave them with a positive experience. And any time I can make out, you know, anything that's going on, you know, I, you know, I just stop the show and, you know, help them get the help they need, you know. Um, I could just never imagine the severity of the situation. Uh, we've been working closely. Uh, we've been working closely with everyone to just try to get to the bottom of this, the city of Houston, HPD, fire department, you know, everyone, uh, you know, help us, help us figure this out. So if you, if you have any information, um, you know, please just contact your local authorities. Um, everybody continue to just keep your prayers. I mean, I'm, I'm honestly just devastated. And I could never imagine anything like this just happening. And I'm gonna do everything I can to keep you guys updated. And, just keep you guys informed on what's going on. Um, love you all. Yeah, there's a YouTube clip of a dude breaking down his mannerisms. Ugh, all of that shit. I gotta be honest, I understand. Travis Scott is an artist. But when you have an Instagram post even saying you finessed it to get more people in, that's crazy. The VIP section looked wild like that's not even vip is supposed to be like fucking better than everybody like what how much do you pay and also tickets are expensive for live nation that we're going to travis scott so motherfuckers be shouting out arms and legs you know i don't go to many concerts it's just not my thing i save my money i'll get fucked but in reality shit's wild like the vip section look crazy but regardless travis in all honesty, bro, you could have did way better. You've done in one clip, and you've probably done in other clips, but you've done some fucked up shit. You cited riots. Somebody got literally hurt. A lot of people here got hurt. Now, regardless, you didn't see any of these people. And I gotta give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he couldn't see what was happening. He's seen probably two or three people passed out, and he stopped the music. What he could see. Now, regardless, I've seen pictures where they, they point the camera like, here's Travis and here's everybody else. And I'd be like, damn. Now, in itself, someone made a video which felt really like they were trying to make Travis Scott seem like the devil and demonic possession and shit like that. Stop that shit. Okay? Stop that shit. Travis Scott is, like I said before, highly influenced in rock and metal and crazy shit like that. Stop that shit. People will bum, bum rush stages. It's hot in Houston, Texas. So the moment you get in a giant crowd of fucking people pushing against each other, crowding around against each other, it's going to be hot as dick. Okay? So let's let's leave like that. And the hotter you are, the more dehydrated you come, become, and you fucking pass out. Just is what it is. I'm sorry, but duh. Now, to be honest... People are going to tell me, yo, fat man, you're kind of wrong for this. Nah, bro, that's not right. I can't say nothing. I had to give out blame somewhere. I literally was not going to blame Travis Scott 
for the longest until I watched other videos and said, well, okay, um, he's seen this and then he played the music. Ah, fuck. But at the end of the day, I did give him the credit of the doubt in this one. He is an entertainer. There's nothing else I can do. I'm here to entertain. I stopped the music. I did my. I did that much. I have to keep on playing. People paid for this, and that's what he's gonna do. He's gonna the show. Ha a performer. The show has to go on. The fuck is wrong with you? That's part of their job. The show will and can go on. Drag out that dead fucking body. I have to continue. That sounds fucked up. What do you want? It's not right, but look what the nigga did. Him and Drake, after playing sick of mode and goosebumps and popping off the fireworks, shit happened. People were dead at the end of this concert. I can't control that. You can't control that. You know who would have controlled it? Travis and Live Nation. Or Live Nation alone could have controlled this entire situation. They were moving fucking barricades from the merch line. These... Fans were moving barricades from the merch line like cockroaches. You kidding me? Now, the one thing I have a problem is people are going to demonize the fuck out of him. I'm not doing that. I'm giving the nigga blame. He did apologize. Regardless of a shitty, it wasn't even an apology, let alone. It was more of we're trying to find out more information. He's trying to find out more information because he doesn't even know what the fuck is going on. And I respect it. There's nothing that, there's nothing else he could do. But he is put in a situation as the artist, the performer, and it's his show. He has all blame. And he has incited other three situations that are shitty. Uh, fourth one, besides the cameraman that was working to film him and that had his job and he was pushed off the stage because he, and Travis Scott was calling him a weirdo. But I'm like, nigga, you will fucking nerd too. It doesn't make any sense. Things happen. At this point, I understand everyone's frustration. Now, I said there was a fourth one. Uh, the fourth one would be the media. Uh, and people that was there. The media is going to take this and spin it. And everyone that was there is going to take this and spin it. And talk about demonic possession and all the other stuff. They're literally doing this right now. Everyone is literally looking at his billboards, artworks, his... Astral world and all that stuff, and they are trying to make him seem out to be demonic devil. But Travis Scott feeds into that same way Tyler the Creator did when they went to the black eyes and eating the cockroach, all for shock value. Remember, rap is also about entertaining and standing out. Travis Scott has stood out, Tyler the Creator has stood out, Jaden fucking Smith has stood out, and music is not the only thing that keeps you out here, it's standing out. Looking like a freak is kind of what gets you out here as most. But your music does succeed when the standout part and the visuals puts you in there. Travis Scott is known for his crazy, trippy, psychedelic visuals. Regardless if they're copy and paste from something, he's going to do his best to use these and to create stuff. He watches cartoons. He's a giant nerd. He could have been inspired from Jimmy Neutron. He could have been inspired from whatever. But that guy knows his stuff a lot of the stuff i've seen is people are trying to demonize him saying this was demonic possession this was a way to kill children there was a child sacrifice there this was basically a portal to hell he was using certain sounds certain sound waves to manipulate shut the fuck up you say this you're the dumbest person i've ever met shut the fuck up please stop you're taking the situation and you're and you're expanding on it and you're fear-mongering. And that is stupid. Chill. I'm not fear-mongering. I am pointing the blame, but I'm also bringing it around of how things could have been better. Yes, I'm doing that much. Shit, most YouTubers are just pointing the blame, but not explaining how things could have been better. Regardless, Live Nation could have had better security. More water. Uh, they could have made sure this entire event was straight up intensely strict. And they should and they should have got on Travis like, yo, don't tell more people to come. And also, the venue itself, which they've used this venue a couple times, could have had more stricter police presence. I know, fuck the cops sometimes. But it could have had a stronger police presence and more ambulance, stretchers, all of that stuff. Especially at a concert where people are going to be dehydrated. They had two water tanks. Two. 
or water supplies or whatever the hell they had. This concert was going to make you dry and upset. So Live Nation is to blame for that. Travis, on the second hand, is to blame for not noticing much, but there's not much he can do. He can try his best to notice what's happening as peripheral, but other than that, it's I'm on stage in bright lights and I see people, but I don't necessarily see what's happening. Unless it's close to me, which he's only seen what's close to him besides the ambulance. So that's on him. When it comes down to the fans, y'all need to chill. You need to chill. You need to hella chill the fuck out. I've never seen... It's like little rabbit monsters. Like little, like, the resellers, the weirdos. I get it. He's an artist. He's a commodity. He's a moneymaker. You want to resell, do stuff. But you all did too much. People who broke down the barriers, you look like animals. Did you shake his hand? Did you get a free anything? Did you, Why did you do that? You basically got there to get into a concert to be hot, sweaty, and almost pass out. So you're stupid for that. That's on you. That's on you. Yeah, I should have had more fucking common sense. The people who did left certain lines. Is what it is. Fourth, the people trying to demonize the concert and the arts and everything to making him out to be a demon, a demonic possession, a devil, all of that crap. You're fear mongering. The moment you and the media take this and spin it into any way you want it, it's going to make him look bad, but you're going to actually give him better publicity because rock is basically about that. His music is about trippiness, psychedelicness, wildness, and you're going to fear monger and put that publicity and negativity onto the man's entire business and brand. Stop it. And you're going to make other people feel that Travis Scott is a demonic demon that just had a human sacrifice at a fucking concert with a kid who was 10, shouldn't have been there, or 14, shouldn't have been there, but a 10-year-old got a concussion and ended up in the hospital. But the 14-year-old died. Oh, it, 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 uh, it was a human sacrifice. Shut the fuck up. Please. You're going to fear monger and you're just, you're just dragging it out. The moment... All of you keep on doing stuff like this, nitpicking, 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 demonic possession, devil, uh, this, this, we were in hell. The moment you all start doing that, you kill it for everybody. You move people away who are interested in his music. You move people away who wanted to go to a concert or go to any concert and just feel that now I go to any concert, I'm going to be sacrificed. <laughs> the fuck? Chill out. Regardless... I've been hearing this a lot. And I've been seeing a lot of this. It needs to halt and stop for a moment. Really think about what you're saying and how it's presented. And actually come to reality and see if that's a reality. Like a, a realistic topic. Because the moment you fear mongers, the moment they're going to look at you and be like, ah, you got the stupid. So I have four people to blame and I blame them all. Now, the moment I've basically waited to say, can all this get better? Hell no. Someone could have got seriously hurt and people did get hurt. I blamed a lot of people. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to throw four. I blamed four people. And why the hell I blame fans is because there's videos out there showing fans weren't any better. Or these might not even been fans. These might have just been vultures. At the end of it, we see who the problems really were. A lot of the other people. A lot of other topics. It wasn't just Live Nation. It wasn't just Travis. It was everybody else. After... It, it was more on him. Afterwards, it was more on him not knowing what happened. He saw what he could see, and now everyone blamed him for everything. I'm not blaming him for everything. I am blamed him for as much as I could, right? He could have laid off of social media. He could have came out and tried to explain and been like, hey, I didn't know what was going on. I only caught what was in front of me, as most artists can, can. It is what it is. A lot of people were trying to shut down the concert and stop it. And camera and lights crew were just like, I can't. I have to do my job. I got to keep going. It is what it is. I don't blame any of those people. But at the end of it, situations got terrible. People died. And the moment people died, that's on him. He has blood on his hands. Is he going to go to sleep at night? Realizing what did he do? Probably. He's going to pray, talk to his mom, talk to somebody. And they're probably going to tell him that's not his fault. As it might not be his fault. The situation has escalated to the next level. What can we do now? We can only wait. Like I said before, we've blamed a lot of people here. 
Now, someone's gonna say, why did you blame fans? Why did you blame Travis? Why did you blame the media? Uh, uh, because we needed something to point a finger at. It seems like everyone's doing it, so I did it. But the only reason I did this was because I didn't want to necessarily blame fans, but a lot of videos I've seen had a lot of dumbass people doing dumbass shit. And the fact that it just made no sense that Live Nation didn't have the security, the, the, the fucking structure to deal with this, and they've made billions of dollars, is, is, is totally, totally on them. So this could have all been avoided if they just had the proper security, the proper structure, and everything was more streamlined and uniform. But they fucked up. Blaming fans was, there were people who were vultures or people who weren't fans, but people were doing the most. And the most is just how it was. I blame Travis. And the fact that I blamed him was the fact that his... Not even apology video. His video that came out and subsequent stuff during that is kind of wild. So we have to understand there's more stuff coming out. Happening. And he's also been sued. There's articles and articles. Check the description below and read what you gotta read. I'm not talking about everything right now. Because there's still more stuff coming out. And I also had to blame people who just kept coming at the, after his demonic stuff or the stuff that he does. Which is just art and it's just trippy. It's supposed to be trippy. It's supposed to be weird. Leave it the fuck alone. Stop reaching. Because the moment you reach, it's like people look at you and shake their hands like, no. like This is not the hill you're dying on. It's the hill you want to die on. Yeah, go fuck yourself. But at the end of this, it's over. There's nothing I can say. There's nothing I can do. What do you want me to say or do? It's what it is. I said what I had to say. And all you can do is sit there and tell me I was wrong or I was right. I automatically feel that this concert could have been way better. If proper security, proper management. If they were speaking into his ear as he was performing. Him and Drake. And kind of getting shit down. Shit, Drake probably fucking knew before he entered the stage. Travis sang multiple songs before Drake got on there. Before Sicka Mode. So we already know someone had to know. Someone. Backstage, crew, management. Someone had to know about people fainting and dying. If they didn't, this is very ill and misinformed information out there. So at the end of it, it is what it is. But I gave my blame. Now, could his next concert be better? Yeah. Has other concerts that he's had been better? Yeah. Have they been less televised? Yeah, you know, who knows? Depending on what you know, you go to a concert, this might not make you want to go. You might want to just be like, my safety is more important than going to see us, going to see someone play music. That's fine. Concert venues are supposed to be fun, exciting, engaging, and you're supposed to go and have a good time. And if you mosh, you mosh safely. Pick that fucking person up. Do your best. But at the end of it, Sometimes go to indie music. Go see someone that's not super fucking famous. That's not going to have a shit load of people who've seen him on Fortnite. Uh, is what it is at this point. But let me know what you think in the comments below. This is your boy. Someone asked me to talk about this and I did. So shout out to you. Uh, right now, this is what I could get. This is what I have. This is the info. And this is my thoughts on it automatically I gave people blame you know what I'm saying you can't you can't tell me I didn't say I didn't point the finger uh I didn't want to point the finger but I had to take time and really look at everything for what it is and it hurts to say this but I did this is your boy fat man remember to like subscribe Bitch. comment hit the bell icon to be notified and for me to you remember to never give up never surrender and keep on grinding in mad love peace and I am out Oof, this shit is not gonna get better shit Damn bit on drum, bit on drum. You little niggas gonna stop acting like, like my shit ain't the grill. Some of you niggas get your front teeth for a grill. I ain't talking about the contract, the contract. Right. I ain't loving these fake hoes Room smelling like eight switches Room service like 2K NBA, I'm ballin' nigga All them niggas falling like all them niggas Talking shit, I saw them niggas Now they daughter want a picture Rough ain't it, fuck famous yeah, Niggas too real, got the most haters Wrote a story, so Stephen Curry How we feel to be golden